Um, I'm Catherine Seidel. It's really nice to meet you. And my question was, have you suffered from any football-related injuries that have affected your career? Let's see. I've actually been really lucky in my football career. I've gotten almost no injuries, so, you know, from the time I was playing in high school, through college, through professional, I, uh, I have, like, very close to, like, a clean sheet. To the point where, when I was at the NFL Combine, they take you in a hospital and they have a like a sheet full of all your injuries and all your issues and my sheet was more or less clear and the NFL doctors didn't believe it because I've been playing football for so long they say you can't have a clean sheet like have you not been playing football oh, yeah. and so I've been I've been really lucky okay I've broken a lot of fingers you can see that oh. I'm bent. I've uh, you know I uh, Separated my AC joint. I had uh, one, I got knocked out once while I was playing. I got knocked out another time, but I wasn't playing. It was a car accident, so that doesn't count. Uh, I had a hip injury in college. I had a neck injury in college. I uh, sprained my MCL. Uh, but, uh, oh, and I broke my uh, broke my wrist, but I mean, compared to most like uh, yeah. people who played as long as I did and at the level I did, I'm it's extremely, extremely Not like happy. permanent injury or anything? Yeah, so nothing is, all these things, you know, I'm very much healthy, although the AC joints, my shoulder is not as strong as it should be. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Jake. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, my question is what advice you have for best balancing both academics and athletics? Uh, the single best piece of advice is to make sure that you really love both. And i found that both take up a lot of time, but when you really love both and you prioritize both, you need to make sure that those two things come before everything else. It comes before like hanging out, it comes before playing video games, it comes before socializing. And when you put those two things first, I find that like if you're in high school, if you're in college, it won't be easy, but you will have enough time for both. That's been my experience. Thank you. Yeah, just back at it. <laughs> so I don't know how familiar you are with the New York State Regents, but what is your opinion on how standardized tests reflect math ability? That's a great question, and I don't think it's one that's necessarily easy to answer. I believe that some level of standardized testing in principle is an important and good idea because, well, first of all, one of the big goals, I think, of education just in general in this country is we want to make sure that we have some level of educational equity. And it's hard to measure this if you don't check on people in different places to make sure that everyone is getting some standard base level of mm -hmm. intelligence. I mean, sorry, some base level of, you know, education. Mm -hmm. And so you need some form of standardized testing to just check in on different areas and to see how education stacks up in different places. But with that said, you also can't put you know, too much stock in these things, especially depending on how the tests are made, the way the tests are worded, and I don't think it's something you should be doing too, too often. But I think it's something that's important to make sure that you have a standard baseline sort of, of this is what our educational system needs to do, and we need to have a certain level of educational quality throughout the country. Yeah, awesome, thank you so much. Yep. Okay, so the question that I have for you is about your book that you wrote, and um, it's about, um, and my question is, what is the main point that you want people to understand when reading your book? That's a great question. So there's a couple layers to this. First of all, it's a, it's a book about my life. And in that respect, I want people through sort of what I teach them about math, what I teach them about my experiences with math, right. I want them to leave with a greater appreciation for math than they had when they started. Okay. And second, I want them to sort of see that, you know, you can be good in science, you can be you know, an academic, and also be good at sports. 
and that you know these are things you can do simultaneously and these are the two big things i say i want people to take away okay thank you